Hello and welcome back here on Neosource. Neo just published its first quarter's earnings of 2022, so let's take a closer look at it. Neo generated a total of 1.46 billion US dollars in vehicle sales and a total revenue of 1.56 billion US dollars. This is 0.8% more in vehicle sales and 0.6% more in total revenues compared to Q4 2021. Basically, NEO had no real revenue growth from Q4 to Q1, which is not good for such a growth based company as NEO. Is this bad now? Well, it's one of the worst earnings in terms of growth for NEO since 2021. The biggest drawdowns of the earnings report are the vehicle margin of 18.1% and for sure the gross margin of only 14.6%. The deliveries were only slightly higher in the first quarter with 25,768 cars, which is 734 cars more than in Q4 2021. So revenue wasn't as great in Q1, but mainly driven by a low vehicle margin and a significantly lower gross margin combined with no big delivery growth. But there are also some slightly better numbers compared to Q4, like a lower net loss. The net loss of the first quarter weights at 281.2 million US dollars, compared to the fourth quarter's 336.4 million US dollars, representing a decrease of 16.4%. This was mainly caused by lower selling, general and administrative expenses, resulting in an overall lower loss from operations. This may also be related to the fact that NEO has lowered the pace in which they are building charging infrastructure or battery swap stations. In Q4 2021 NEO was continuously building out its NEO power infrastructure. The earning per share of the first quarter was at negative 18 cents in the first quarter compared to the EPS of negative 21 cents in Q4 2021. Overall Q1 earnings of 2022 were more humble no big beat and but also no real miss but be aware that q2 will look even worse especially in deliveries vehicle margin and gross margin neo gave an outlook for q2 of 23,000 to 25,000 car deliveries and a total revenue between 1.47 billion to 1.59 billion us dollars so according to neo q2 earnings report will be looking similar to the one in q1 Still I highly doubt that Q3 and Q4 will be looking the same. Personally, I am expecting a lot from the two last quarters of 2022 to make up the weakness of the first two quarters. Especially the new factory and the ET5 and ES7, as well as the Europe expansion will likely increase deliveries by a good amount and as long the margins aren't terrible in those quarters, earnings and revenue might be looking better. I hope that I could give you a better insight of NEO's first quarter's earnings 2022. If you want to take a look on the earnings report yourself, I linked the report down in the description. As always I wish you guys a nice day.